Hey, what is going on, guys? CK Drifter 458 here, and today, welcome back to part two of Forza Horizon 1. Now, it's been a couple of days since we've done a Let's Play episode of this um, because of all the Forza Horizon 2 news. Now, you guys went mental for the Subaru in the comments of the last video uh, when I left it off as a cliffhanger, so I went ahead and bought one. Sorry, all you evil fans out there, but yeah. What we're going to do before we get into some races and that, because I've actually got 681 grand. That is just from drifting and levelling up. That is crazy. So yeah, what we're actually going to do right now is customise this thing for a rally race that is happening uh, in a minute. So it's not technically a rally race, it's just an off-road race, but uh, we need to keep it in B class. So I just want to like ump the power a wee bit. Uh, so we're going to fit a fat exhaust to it, oh yeah. Um, looks like we're going to take us up to 466, or 466, yet again. Um, not sex, as people always think, for some reason, because of my Scottish accent, everyone thinks I'm saying sex, but it's not. <laughs> it's mental. So anyway guys, how have you guys been? I haven't actually talked to you for like a proper long time, apart from like, bringing you news videos, um, so, um, is mental, so yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this Let's Play, um, even though we've only done one episode, so I think we'll actually be completing this one, because, as I says, I'm not going to be showing you every single freaking race, because that would take for years, so yeah, I might lower the suspension, a valley, valley suspension, nah, I don't want to do that, I, I don't actually know, dry terrain, um, yeah, we'll just put some beefier brakes or something on it right now, yeah, that's more like it, and... I think we might keep the suspension up this high because it is an off-road race. Um, so we'll lower the weight a bit. Nah, shit. We can't do that. Oh, that's bullshit, man. That's fucking bullshit. Right. <laughs> we'll get an anti-roll bars. That's what we'll do. It's fine. Um, I kind of want to change the tyres. Now, let's see what body kits can we get for this. Ooh, a charge body kit. Damn, that looks nice, son. That looks very freaking nice, man. Uh, I don't know. What will we go for it? Yeah, I think we will go for it, yeah. It looks pretty damn nice. Uh, spoiler. Uh, no, hell no. Or no spoiler at all. Now I love the, the Subaru spoiler, so... And then the charge kit. Oh! Holy hell, look at the exhaust pipes. We'll go for that one. Doop! And... I don't know about the side. Yeah, I don't know. Um... We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go, guys, and see what it's like. Um, rims, they need to be changed. Although, I love I love the Subaru-style rims and that, but I want to get it changed. Um, I have a feeling there's more choice in Horizon than um, Forza 5 for some strange reason. I don't know why, but uh, let's see. What can we pick? I want some... Oh, yeah, cool. I like them rims, but I'm not going to take them for a Subaru. Uh, the work rims, they're normally very nice. Um... I just want something basic and something that would actually go well with like a rally car. So, so this is basically a rally build right now, but although it isn't like that, um, I actually quite like them ones. Yeah, we'll go for them. We'll make them a bit bigger. I've never really used these rims before. Yeah, they look badass actually. Holy shit. They look really nice. Damn. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it guys. We're ready to rally. Um, or off-road race, whatever the you want to call it, so yeah. Um, I think, will I paint it? I don't know if they like do um, like a little bit of like, wheel paint or something like that, because I know you guys want to see good customization in this Let's Play as well, so yeah. So, what can we do then? Uh, design Creator, uh, Paint Car, I like the Subaru Blue that's at the now. Um, I just really want to change the actual wheel colour. Although it looks really nice and um and white, can we? Ch oh yes, we can actually. Oh my god, we can actually change the freaking um spoiler color. I might put it in black. Wait a minute, can you get matte colors? Oh yeah, you can. Um yeah, we'll put it in matte. Oh, that looks badass. Um, I don't know. That looks really really nice like that. Yeah. And then tint the windows, yeah baby, yeah, black to black and blue Subaru, yeah, that rhymes, black and blue Subaru, yeah. So anyway guys, um, we're going to jump over to the off-road race now, so I will see you there. 
So here we are, guys. We're at the rally race right now. So, oh, hold on. Keep those pretty eyes open. You might learn something. You might learn something. That is a person. A third one fifty Raptor. Oh God. Oh my God. Here we go. First rally race of Horizon, guys. Now, uh, I think this thing should dominate because we put several upgrades to it, as you've seen there. Now, I'm with manual and clutch, so um, I'm not an automatic, because I normally tend to drive automatic in Horizon just for, like, cruising, but when it's races and stuff, I always um, put it on manual and clutch. They are flying ahead, apparently. Holy shit. Right, come on, little fucking Quattro, you are going down. That freaking Mercedes Jeep's flying, Jesus. Holy hell. Now, here's a good question for you guys. The question of the day. Uh, that I've been missing out quite a lot. Um, have you ever done any off-road races in real life? Like, uh, let's just say, have you got like a truck? Have you got like a, a road, like a rally car, like a Evo, Subaru? Uh, have you ever done off-roading races? That is really, really a good question to ask, guys. Now, um, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, yeah, that is the other thing I was wanting to say to you. Now, I don't know if you heard uh, in, uh, what was it? Was it the Q&A video that I actually seen a McLaren 650S Spider the other day when I was coming back from college? Holy shit! It looked amazing, seriously. I wish I got a picture of it, but I, I, I don't know if you guys get this, but every time you see a nice car that goes by, um, you never have time to pull out your phone and take a pic. Because I was on the dual carriageway um, at this bit, like walking down the side of it, uh, like I normal do to get home. And then I was going the opposite direction um, from where the 650S came. Now, the 650S came up behind me, uh, which was really, really, really awesome. Because all I heard was this little deep grumble of a turbo V8. I was like, what the frick is that? Turn around, seen the 650S. I was like, oh my god. And it was in orange. And oh man, it's one of them... It's one of them petrol head moments where like jaw drops. I seen a I seen a few people down there, uh, further down the dual carriageway, their heads just turned. It's an absolutely awesome car, the 650s, and I really really want that in Horizon 2. Now, speaking of the 650s, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the Drive uh, Monaco special where Chris Harris and the two other guys take the 650s. The SLS Black Series and the F12 Bellinetta to Monaco is bloody brilliant! Oh my god! I've got a rival and it's Jesus Drifter! Holy shit! Jesus was a drifter! Oh yes! Oh yeah, um, no thanks. I went past Jesus, sorry Jesus! <laughs> Jesus was a drifter, oh my god. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, getting back to the drive thing, they done like a episode, it just went up on their channel yesterday. It's like a 22 minute video of them driving to Monaco. They went through the channel tunnel in the SLS Black Series and the 650S. It is unbelievable how wide the SLS Black Series is. Oh my god, it's mental. Now, I've unlocked a few um, showcase events, so I'm actually tempted to do this one right here. Horizon High Noon Balloon, so... Uh, since you can fast travel to it, um, you can just go there. I'm really, really glad I bought the fast travel anywhere one because when I didn't have it, you had to drive all the way to the event, but it's really, really good. And that is something I hope Horizon 2 has if the map's going to be bigger. But don't charge us for it. Make it like in game credits. Wait, where am I going? What the hell's that? Is that the noise coming off that lance here? Holy shit, I don't know if you guys heard that there, but it's the fucking. Turbocharger and supercharger on that car, because that thing is turbocharged and supercharged, which is really, really cool. Tell me you're not excited. Tell me you're not excited, man. You'll win the car. So we'll win now, De Quattro? Oh my god! Yeah, please! Yeah! I think I might do a few of these freaking uh, showcase events, because I've unlocked quite a few. And that means if you get a car, I can customise the cars. Because you guys have been asking for a custom car series, which I might start doing. Definitely might start doing after a few episodes of this comes out. Oh yeah. Now I just want to say big thanks to you guys for supporting the Horizon 2 news series. It's unbelievable um, how many comments and stuff that are on it. It's 
unbelievable because you guys always do the videos for fun to bring you the latest news first and to hear you guys responses I don't do it for the subs I don't do it for the views I do it for you guys to um, like enjoy if you know what I mean so we're gonna go ahead and put it in first person view in the Audi Quattro oh yeah the Audi Quattro why did I go German <laughs> this is the Audi Quattro yeah do you like do you like the car <laughs> I've got a shit German accent. Definitely. I think Spears does it a bit better. So it just sounds like close from American Dad! Oh my god! Holy shit, that's freaking mental. Ugh. Now, this is the version of the Audi Quattro. I've not really been a big fan of this one because the I know it's the sport quattro, but the standard one is better because it was in a TV programme called Ashes to Ashes. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I think it was a British programme. Uh, like a detective program and there's an Audi Quattro in it and it's freaking gorgeous absolutely freaking gorgeous I love the car now the, I think Gran Turismo has the right version of the Audi Quattro that I like um, basically it is this oh shit <laughs> basically it is this but with a bit less um, I think the front's a bit different I think it is shit I'm losing this don't tell me I'm losing to a fucking hot air balloon holy crap no no, I'm first, I'm first, I'm first. Yes! Come on, Quattro! Bring in that all four wheel drive! Oh, yes! Bring in all pictures! Come on, beat the, beat the balloon, beat the balloon, beat the balloon, beat the balloon, come on! Yes! I don't know how that was classed as first place there, because he kind of went in front of me. That's kind of weird. 12 G's! Yeah, boy. You can keep the car. Well, yes! Audi Quattro in my pocket. You have won a new car. The Audi Sport Quattro B500. Yeah, bitch! Give me the cap. Uh, new rival, rough. Uh, no, thank you. No, no. I uh, just want to talk about the Porsche thing for Horizon 2, guys, I know. Um, you guys responded to it very well last night. Um, I am super hyped if it does come back. It really, really does make sense. It really does make sense for Turn 10 bringing them back if they are, because as I said in the video, Need for Speed is dying at the moment, uh, but they need to come back with a punch in 2015 to get us interested again. Um, so hopefully right now, uh, since EA is not making a Need for Speed this year, Oh, oh, oh. About a new barn find. New barn find? New barn find? Where? There's a barn find over by Finley Dam. The area is Oh, I know. I know where it is. I know where it is. It's over here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I've done that. But yeah, um, Porsche definitely should be coming back to Horizon 2. I want it to come back because I've got a massive idea for what I want to do as a video with um, Tomcat and possibly... Black Panther if he gets a uh, Xbox One. So I think he was saying in one of these videos that he's just going to get the 360 version, but I really hope he gets the Xbox One because it was so much fun to play that with him. And if you're watching, man, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. I think it'd be a great idea. Oh, oh, there's a the barn frame. Yes. Now I've actually found the Hemi Cuda already. So what is this one? I don't even know what that is. What the hell is that? You don't see many of these. One of the rarest. <gasps> BMW one M. No, not one M. M one. <laughs> she a looker. Yeah, boy. And she'll look like she just rolled out of the showroom. Oh, I love the M one. Oh my God, it's a classic car, man. Absolutely classic car. No, I think we're gonna jump into another race, guys. Um, so let's just pull up the map a second. Uh, what can we do? Oh, there's another showcase around. There's another one. Uh, the wind tunnel. I just want to do the showcase events just to get them out of the way and get some new cars, guys. That is going to be freaking awesome. Because I believe there's quite a few showcase events every time you level up, so... Um, I'm praying that this is a proper good car that we get this time. Dak will call you when the M1 is ready. Brilliant! Now, you guys were complaining why I didn't hit the... The, um... Upgrade signs. When I was drifting in the video. Sorry, guys, for me. But no, I don't know what it is, because that's the past few videos I keep button. Hate doing that in videos. <gasps> oh! Corvette! Corvette! Corvette C6 Grand Sport Convertible. Oh my god. 
That is awesome. An actual Corvette already. Jesus Christ. The Wind Tunnel. I can hear Arcus. Not not Arcus. Um, yeah, the song's called Arcus and Maiden. It's the people who um, made it. Um, <laughs> Maiden is the people who made it. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, as I mentioned in the music uh, news episode, like well, yesterday of Forza Horizon 2, I'm going to be doing like wish lists for the radio stations in the game. Now we know that there's a dance station, an electronic station, which is kind of the same thing. Um, an indie rock slash alternative station, um, and there's gonna be one like a summer vibed one, possibly a house station, which is really really cool. So acts like uh, Duke Demont, um, maybe Sub Focus. I know he's more uh, drum and bass and sometimes dancing that, um, but I would love to see them two in there. Uh, but another one I would love to see is Martin Garrix. Now. If you guys um, over in America haven't heard of Martin Garrix, he's a massive DJ right now. He's only 18, I believe. 18 or 19, same age as me. And he's had fucking two major chart hits right now. And I believe his third one is on the way, and it's called Proxy. It is a freaking epic song, man. Absolutely epic now. Um, now I was actually posted on Twitter on Petrolheads Paradise, which you haven't, if you haven't joined, the link's always in the description. Same with my Facebook and Twitter page, <laughs> then if you haven't joined them, links are down below as I said. Uh, now I posted a song link on Petrol Ed's Paradise of the video slash song which I think is going to be like the title song to Forza Horizon 2. Now um, as I said yesterday's video, Porter Robinson language is the title song to Horizon 1 which you'll obviously hear in the, the press start screen of the game with all the cars and that, so it's a really, really nice song, I love that song. But, I have a feeling that Nobody to, um, I can't even say it, Nobody to Love by Sigma is going to be uh, the title song this time, because um, if you guys in the UK, where I am, in Europe, you've obviously heard this song. I don't know if it's big in the States yet, but it's like a remix of Kanye West's song that he done with Kim Kardashian on the freaking motorbike. <laughs> What a video! <laughs> That's really crazy, but yeah. Uh, first place? That said second place right up to the freaking end there, but I ain't complaining, we've got the core of it. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I actually think that song is going to be the title song for Horizon 2 because it's quite good because the video for that song is kind of set in Europe. It's got that European vibe to it, even though it's a Kanye West song, but it's a remix of the Kanye West song, but it's freaking epic. It's like, drum and bass and dance all at the same time but with like a summer vibe to it but I really really hope it's either that Martin Garrix um, either Wizard or Animal or Duke Dumont I got you because that better be in Horizon 2 because that is like the ultimate summer song right now it's got like steel drums and everything in it it's amazing oh yes Corvette time ladies and gentlemen Oh yes, I'll let you hear it for a second guys, I'll let you hear it. That is freaking mega now. Uh, I think we're going to go through the tunnels. Oh yeah, let's do some driving. Yeah, like free room driving now guys. Um, let's go through the tunnels in this thing, it's going to be amazing. What is that? Oh, 370! Hello, Gilberts! How you doing, Gilberts? Let's see this thing. Tell you what, I'm gonna shut up and... Sounds like a peach! Sounds like a freaking peach! Oh my god, I love it! Um, oh yeah, bunker! Oh my god, I forgot about this wee bit! Welcome to... I don't know what the fuck that says. What? <gasps> um, um... Okay, I'm gonna pick up the M1 now, guys. <laughs> right, okay, let's go to the garage. Fast travel. Oh my god, I love the M1. I really, really do. See, um... If someone makes like a Stance Nation style one, 
uh, but still keep it original at the same time. Oh my freaking god, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Welcome to my garage. Okay. Um, now, as I said, I've got the Hemi Kuda, very, very nice car. Uh, how many more is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy shit, there's more? Fuck me. Uh, but yeah, um, this barn thing will now be added to your garage. Yeah, boy. I'm actually tempted to customise this thing now, guys. I'm really, really freaking tempted. Because uh, we might end off the episode after that. Um, so, Isn't yeah, let's see this thing. Looks like she could almost fly. Now, you look after this piece of BMW history. I don't want to see even a scratch. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. I really will take care of her because she's my baby. She's my absolute baby, baby. <laughs> she really is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and customise this thing. Well, we're going to make it like retro but new school at the same time. So, uh, so I don't want to ruin it. I really don't want to ruin it. So we're going to be making it like better suspension, lowering it a tiny, tiny bit. How's it going, man? How's it going? Let's see. I'm actually tempted to put it in black. I don't know why. It's just something about this car that would suit black. It's like the freaking 80s Batmobile. Oh, yeah. I know it's kind of a more <laughs> drawn back Batmobile, but let's see this. Oh, my God. It looks quite nice. No. Uh, I don't know if to leave it without the spoiler. Yeah, I'll leave it without the spoiler now. Uh... Anyway, what we're going to do with this thing, conversion, now here's where we do the oh my god, you can convert the engines? You want a bigger engine, forced induction for your class. Yeah. <gasps> oh, okay, we can get the M3 engine, or the M5 engine. Um, I'm tempted to put the M5 engine in this, guys. I really am, because that's the, the V10 engine. Um, yeah, yeah, let's go for it. So how many hospitals has this got now? 552 horsepower. Holy mother of jeebus. Holy mother of jeebus. Right, we're going to max this thing. I have just a funny feeling we're just going to max it. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if we'll max the performance, but we'll certainly max like, the handling and stuff. Damn. Now, that is one car I really, really want to come back to uh, Forza Horizon 2 and Forza 5. The E60 M5. Because I was, I was sad when I heard that's not... That wasn't coming back to Forza 5 because it's an epic, epic car. Can we actually see this thing in a better view than that? So I don't know if it suits it going right down. Yeah, it does actually. It suits very, very nice. Um, but yeah, I actually want to see the touring version of that or the wagon if you guys are in the estate or if you're in the estate, <laughs> if you're in the USA or states. But we call we call a wagon an estate or um a touring car in this, you know what I mean, because like, the BMW Grand Touring is kind of like that, so, it's going to be freaking awesome, because uh, I miss that car, I really, really do, because, don't get me wrong, the new M5 is biblical, I really, really do like that, it's my favourite M5 in fact, but the V10, I don't know, there's something special about it, I wasn't a big fan of like, the looks, because basically, if they took the new M5, stuck the V10 into that, Oh my god, that'd be brilliant. Really, really cool. Here's me saying we're not going to max this now. We're going to leave out the camshaft because that's going to end up freaking oh, 610 horsepower already. Um, we'll put the valves in. 620 feet. I think max power we're going to put in this thing is 700. Uh, let's see. 662. Uh, leave the twin turbo. Intercooler. 684. 691. But 691's not actually that bad, so freaking run about the same power as an Aventador. Even though it is the LP700, it has run about 691 horsepower. It's awesome. So we're gonna go ahead. Wait, I didn't change the rims here, did I? I didn't change the rims. Shit! Holy shit. Um What will we do? Since this is a rising, I'm not really bothered about drifting in this thing, so we're gonna go ahead and put the race tires on this. Oh yeah. So the first time I've done that in literally years <laughs> for a car. So I normally really keep it in sport tires for like drifting, but for this car, I don't think it would suit drifting, but we've got to get rid of them. It's like a freaking washing machine. That's what it's like, them wheels. Um, what would BBS look like in this? I have no idea. Uh, oh, okay. 
Actually, looks not that bad. Um, now, do I want to keep it like a good classic rim. No, they're a bit too... Over the top. Um, center line? No, 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 no. But at the same time, I don't want to make it too blingy. Uh, Fisk, Fisk rims. Uh, oh my god, they suit it, but... I've been using the Fisk rims for a freaking while now in Forza. Okay. The Haman rims, I haven't used these in a while, guys. Yeah, that suits it. That suits it. I'll make them bigger. I don't want to make them too big, but... Um, that one there, and then we'll make the rear size bigger. Yeah, boy! Right, can we look at this thing now, or...? How come we can't do a freaking free look? That needs to be in Horizon. That really needs to be in Horizon, like a free look around the car. Oh, damn! Let's see if we can actually go straight into this thing. Uh, let's see, view car. There we go, that's it now. Toggle view. Oh my god. Oh, she looks pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, now, we've got a... Uh, paint the car. Oh, does that mean we've got to go straight to the freaking paint shop? Right, I guess we'll, we'll see at the paint shop, guys. Um, guys, I just remembered something when I was coming out of that garage. The F10 is the new model. <laughs> Here's me saying it's the V10 from uh, the the E60 version, but it's actually the V8. So apologies for that, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I'll put. I would have probably put up like a a message or something like that when I was saying it. So. Anyway, we're going to paint this thing, and then in the next episode, I'm going to recall... Oh, oh mother of God! Batmobile! Holy shit, that looks badass! It's like a Di Tommaso Pantera, that's what that looks like! Holy shit! Um, we're going to check a couple of other colors to see what it's like. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to be giving you a test drive of this thing in the next episode. I'm going to record it straight after this because I'm in a Horizon hype mood today. Oh, actually, it looks surprisingly good in yellow. Uh, ooh, okay, um, that's the one thing I was disappointed in Forza 5 about. They didn't bring in metallic colours. It was only normal colours. I don't know why they didn't do that, but I'm glad they've still got that in Horizon 2. Right, right, uh, right Frank, keep away from the blue. Keep away from the blue, even though it looks good. No, don't choose it, don't choose it. There'll be a rager in the comments, don't choose it. Um, I think the black's won me over. I would it look like a carbon, you know, matte black, I mean. Ah, um, no, because I don't like the way that the, um, the actual matte reflects off the car in this game. Makes it look brown, but... Ooh, okay, silver looks nice. Tell you what, tell you what, we'll keep it the original, keep it the original guys, that was a complete waste of time there, so yeah guys, thanks for watching this episode of Forza Horizon 1, uh, I know it's been quite a long episode, but thanks a lot for sticking around to the end if you have, you guys are awesome, so if you want to see more, leave a like and subscribe for more Forza Horizon, Forza Horizon 2 news first on anywhere on YouTube apart from IGN, see you later guys, peace.